when crisis comes for the world as a whole, will never fail in its duty. I call upon Mr. Mackenzie King. We are met here today to give a hearty welcome to Mr. Mackenzie King, Prime Minister. Prime Minister of the Dominion of Canada. Uh, we have uh, known him a long time. Like uh, most of us here, he is a party politician. <laughs> well, uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of in that. <laughs> um, Canada is the link which joins together the old world and the new, which uh, links the vast American people with whom I trust we shall ourselves develop a fraternal association which joins them, <laughs> which joins them by another link, Canada bound by the sacred ties uh, to the mother country and also by terms of the deepest intimacy and friendship to the United States clamps the whole structure of this uh, benignant, unfearing, glorious British Empire together into one a homogeneous mass which, when crisis comes, nations of the world can never forget that it was the indomitable resistance of the people of Britain that bought the precious time for the mobilization of the forces of freedom around the globe. It is, however, not of Britain but of Canada that I am expected to speak on this occasion. I place first the aspect I regard as most significant, Canada's war effort is a voluntary effort. It is the free expression of a free people. <laughs> Our first duty is to win the war. But to win the war, we must keep the vision of a better future. We must never cease to strive for its fulfillment. No lesser vision will suffice to give the victory over those who seek world domination and human enslavement. No lesser vision will enable us fittingly to honor the memory of the men and women who are giving their all for freedom and justice. In the realization of this vision, the governments and peoples who owe a common allegiance to the crown may well find the new meaning and significance of the British Commonwealth and Empire. It is for us to make of our association of free British nations, a model of what we hope the whole world will someday become. 